Good evening and welcome to yet another vlog. As you can tell from the title, we're on our way to Sweden and currently we're on Blackfriars Bridge Station. It's got uh, it's the railway station with the most beautiful views in London. Check these out behind me. Just landed in Stockholm and uh, really excited to be here. I hope to be sharing a bit more about the city with you in a couple of days. Got a few days of uh, work at the office first, but um, over the weekend, I hope to get some really good photos here. Good night, see you tomorrow. And good morning from beautiful Stockholm. Um, I'm about to jump on the subway and I've actually heard the Stockholm subway is one of the most beautiful in the whole world. So I'm really excited to see what that's all about. I'm expecting some beautiful artwork on the stations and hope to catch, capture some of it and share it with you. So I guess with a bit of cinematics you can make any commute look exciting. Anyway, I'm off to work now. The next few days aren't going to be super exciting and um, <coughs> particularly great vlog material, but I'll check in a few sporadically and on the weekend hope to um, explore Stockholm in a more photographic way. Until then, see ya. It's Friday evening now and the work week is starting to draw to a close. Um, the weather is really starting to grey over and the forecast for this weekend is not looking so sexy either. But i um, really excited to be in Stockholm this weekend anyway and get out there in the city, explore a bit and take you there with me. Just made it to the city centre. Um, it's really way too dark to be taking photos now, so um, instead I'm going to try to find my hotel, get the batteries all charged up, and tomorrow we're exploring Shell Commence. And good morning from Stockholm. Um, it's Saturday morning, currently half past four, and if you look behind me, blue hours in full effect, and currently rushing to get to the sunrise spot. A um, little bit of cloud and cover in the sky, which is always good, because um, it makes the sunrise tones come out a bit stronger and hoping the sunrise will be really good. Um, busy on the high street in Stockholm, just walking and uh, completely empty. I'm the only one here, of course, it being so early. Um, we're about to head into the old town, actually. I'll show you that in a second. So check this out. These are the canals and that's, those are the bridges that connect the city to the old town. Got the sunrise coming through really beautifully over here. And a bit of parliament in the way as well. Oh wow, check this out. There's literally ice floating in the river, that's how cold it is. 
And yeah, this gate over here that I'm busy walking towards, that's the entrance to the altar. That's part of the town we just crossed out of. And look at these beautiful reflections in the water, wow. Um, time permitting, I'll try catch these on the way out. That would make for a great photo. Bit of a shame with the construction site in the foreground, but anyway. And right now, we are headed up that hill over here, which should give us a view over what you just saw, and um, let's go do this. Check how steep the saw is. So yeah, because you climbing up a rather steep hill to get to the sunrise spot. All worth it in the end, of course. I hope. So last time I came to Stockholm, I had been to this hill before, and um, due to that, the location scouting was already kind of done for me. And then I just went on Google Maps to see um, where the sun would rise, of course, in the east. So plotted that out, remember what the view would be like and um, if all goes according to plan we should be treated to some pretty good views in just about any moment now. Just made it to the spot and yeah the views are not disappointing, check us out. Loving the ice in the harbour, looks pretty cool. And then uh, got the old town as well and turning further east we're looking right into the sunrise and the tones are looking amazing right now, check that out. The audio failed on this one, so I'm going to do a voiceover. So I'm focusing on the uh, foreground and all the texture of the ice, more so than the sky. And that's why the camera is tilted forward like this. Because I really want to have the foreground cover the majority of the frame in the photo. Check it out. I really love the Scandinavian architecture over here, so I really wanted to incorporate that into my next shot. and. Um, Got the blazing sunrise back here in the background, so try to combine the two for my next shot and have a bit of background element with the rest of the skyline over here as well and um, get on the tripod. With the contrast being so extreme, where the building is very much in the shade still and uh, the sunrise needing a completely different exposure, I decided to bracket and then in post production I'm going to merge the shots so you get the book best of both elements and have the entire scene exposed. Check this out. Wow, look at this. Right now the sun is peeking perfectly uh, through the window in my tower and I um, actually managed to translate that into a, to, into a sunburst. This is amazing. Check this out. One more shot that really caught my eye was um, similar to the first one, just using the texture of all these pieces of ice over here to create a bit of foreground and then um, use the city as a backdrop. But instead of going for the ultra wide angle, which I've done in all the previous shots, I um, decided to zoom in a bit. Uh, take the lens to 50mm and then let's get to you a bit more of a close up on the buildings. So yeah, here's what I came up with. So I consider this quite a successful morning and I uh, think I got some really great shots. Really, really happy um, and think it was worth waking up so early. Uh, gonna wrap up at this location, but it's still very early, just after 6 a.m. and um, as you can see on the light of my face, um, well, that's still really really good and I'm gonna make the most of that soft warm light and maybe try a few di different few angles get back into the city um, and just explore some of the side streets see what I can come up with I have a good advantage of um, it still being so early just after 6 a.m. there's nobody else has woken up yet and um, some of the tourist hotspots might be completely empty and um, can get that postcard perfect shot 
without all the crowds in the way, which would be a huge plus. So just found my way onto this pedestrian bridge and um, check this out. Up here on this hill, just there is where we caught the sunrise from, but um, what really caught my attention here is this angle. Um, a beautiful Scandinavian architecture over here, still bathing in the golden hour of the sunrise and then um, got some ice in the foreground and a bit of reflection down here as well and that's really looking stunning. Um, definitely going to try to capture the shot and hope it turns out good. So behind me is the Old Town Square and um, that's the very iconic tourist hotspot in uh, Stockholm. These uh, classic architecture Scandinavian style houses are what you can see in every fridge magnet of Stockholm and um, every tourist shop has them in postcards. Previous times I've come here, um, this entire square is swarmed with people all taking selfies and um, if you've watched any of my previous videos uh, you'll see that I'm not a big fan of that uh, when I'm trying to get the photo. So, I mean, I don't have a problem with other people getting a photo as well. I just don't really want people in my photos, and that's all. So I'd rather wake up early, come here, get the square all to myself, and get the shot I'm happy with. And I think I did that. Check it out. So despite the weather report not looking promising at all last night, um, I think I got a bit of a lucky break there, and uh, morning turned out really beautiful. Anyway, I'm really cold and quite hungry now, so I'm gonna head back to the hotel and get some breakfast with me. Hope you enjoyed watching, and if you did, be, please be sure to like and comment, and if you aren't already, please subscribe. See you in the next episode.